In the last episode, we met the creepiest trader in this world. I smacked a little girl in the head. I made our Horde Knight walkway a little bit better with some traps and stuff. And I harvested a lot of resources in preparation for progress. Up to this point, we have just been barely surviving. But now we must thrive in this zombie world. That is our goal for the next 10 days. So let's go. Day 61 and we successfully survived a pretty crazy Horde Knight. What are these orange bags? Ooh, we got a military helmet. This horde caused a bunch of damage and even got inside the house somehow. They even broke out blade traps. Yeah, what does it take to fix these? Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> Fucking start slicing me up as soon as I fixed it. Oh, I heard that shit too. Okay, it just takes um forged steel. Stupid blade traps. Now you're all fixed. We somehow managed to survive the night without making any ammo. Then I checked the chemistry bench and realized the gunpowder was still crafting up. Took me heaps of sciencing to figure out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. The radiation bitch just oh she's in she's in the house <laughs> i'd realized that there was a couple flaws in the design of this electricity and all that stuff and i had an idea first i need to take out this block place in another one that's a little bit lower add the electrical relay and then wire everything up through this now the wires should reach i'm sure there's a better way to do this and if you do know like let me know in the comments below because as you probably know already i am winging this right now i then figured that there's probably something i should do about this hole that the zombies dug through in my original hole definitely gonna have to reinforce this a little bit better i guess this led me to have another bright idea if i place down this little wedge thing then I should be able to throw some grenades straight down and they should land into this hole just like that. Day 62 and this is kind of what our grenade funnel looks like now. It's a grenade funnel. Oh man. Yes. That is sick. I think Fang likes it. With frag grenades, do you just throw it at like yeah. this triangle here? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and our gunpowder is crafting away quite nicely. It's a new 10 days, so it's time for us to get on out there and start exploring and start looting some cool places. Except uh, this kind of happened. Uh, uh, about that repair kit, I just broke my bike. Oh my god, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> oh my god. Thankfully, Fang wasn't too far away, so he came back and filled our tank up. You just gassed it, bro. You didn't fix it. No, I repaired it. Nope. Oh, no, my repair kit's in my... Rookie mistakes were made, but hey, we're back on the road again. Indeed, we have done this one before and a bunch of other times. We weren't too bothered double looting this place. We're just gonna get stuck in and get it done. <laughs> And we got through this rather quickly and easily. Oh shit, what was that? Kinda. Oh, finished it though. Since we're out here anyway, I figured we'll just loot this entire place. It's a small little town here anyway, and we need to get some juicy juicy loot in the name of progress. And then sometimes you can have some pretty funny moments like this. It's unlocked. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Jesus for the juicy juicy loot. Amen. The next building that we decided to hit up was called the Bear Den. <laughs> I'm unstoppable now, bitches. Dude, having guns in this game is such a game changer. Anyways, this place called the Bear Den, apparently there's a bear in it. Oh my god, this fucking bear skin scared the fuck out of me. I don't think that that was the bear that they're talking about, though. Shit, can we claim that? Yeah, that would be sick. Eh? Oh, not just leather. We were kind of scared that there was going to be a bunch of bears that just pop out of nowhere, so we were playing this quite cautiously. It was also a little bit of a maze to get around this place. I wasn't really too sure where to go, but eventually we spotted the juicy loot. Just didn't really know how to get down there. I mean, we do have our handy dandy auger here. Whee! Oh shit. Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. Oh shit. Oh, shit. It's behind you. Oh, there's another one. Great time not to be reloaded. There's oh, you, got another him. One. you got him. Yeah. Oh, bro, that was too easy. God damn. I didn't realize, but my inventory was extremely full. That there was just bags and bags of stuff laying on the ground. So we just had to sort through it and throw away stuff that kind of wasn't as valuable as the other stuff. And if there was anything of value, at least we could take it to good old Trader Joel to get rid of it. Like some of these mod schematics in these books were pretty useless to us at the moment. And then we finished off day 62 by heading on home and securing the loot in our storage boxes. It's crazy because in that run, we got six bottles of acid. Why was it so easy to get now compared to earlier? Day 63, we ventured on back into the snow area. We're up to the stage of the game where we really need to start getting some better weapons it's not that we have bad weapons now but we could definitely get a lot better and one good place that we know we can get some weapons is definitely this shotgun messiah i'm sure you guys are familiar in how this works we rush in kill a bunch of zombies try our best to not get killed by one of them and use the auger to break into the hard chest that we can't really be bothered going and getting lockpicks for nothing crazy but we did get some free ammo we then continued on down the road into the little city and then went to the shotgun messiah down there as well the loot here hadn't respawned since the last time we were here so instead we left and went on our way 
Now we just traveled west. Because for some reason, I thought that there was like a military camp out these ways. We literally just kept following this road until we could find something. It felt like a long while, but eventually we found radiation. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going back. Same. I did not know that was a thing. Now, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Maybe you can let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of like the world borders. We then made our way to another location that we know is definitely safe and not full of radiation. Savage country. Hello, anyone home? Oh, <laughs> there they are. They're coming, bro. <laughs> go, go, go. Savage Country is a mystery of a kind of shop. Like, is it a clothes store or is it a gun store? Like, dude, make your mind up. Maybe it's just an American store. America. I love guns. Ooh, uh, that looked like it hurt. This night, a little mini horde came past our base. This was a great way to be able to watch and test out our traps. Come on, guys, you can do it. No, you can't. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Bro, that slows him down heaps. Mm hmm. That's going to be so. Day 64, you know what we did? You know what we did? Well, we rode on over to the desert and I just mined some oil. Yes, because we're using motorized tools and our vehicles, we're going through a lot of gas and we really need to stock up on some. Um, excuse me, can you just leave me alone, stupid lady? You're stuck down there, so you, you can stay there and have a timeout. And as I was trying to make my way home, I made another rookie mistake. Oh, shit. You'll uh, never believe where I landed. Back in the hole that you fucking just... <sighs> no way. I need to see this shit, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, bro. How you doing down there? Let's cut this one, this piece out of the edit, huh? <laughs> That is so funny. Anyways, moving on from that a little embarrassing ordeal. We made it back to base. Then I turned all of this oil into 20,000 pieces of gas. Next up, remember that little flat area that I built on the side of our house here? Well, I opened up a little hole in the side of our base so we could get to it. Hey, Burning Man's over here. You're in the wrong biome, son. Oh, I missed. Did not miss that time. I am the man. Anyways, moving on from the slight distraction. Yes, this little flatland, I want to build a little farm plot crop thingy. Not that we're running out of food or anything. I just think, well, we might as well because we have the space and we have the crop plots from picking it up while we're looting out in the wilds. I realize this probably isn't a lot of room, but hey, we'll just take as much room as we can get and make it work somehow. I'm just kind of hoping that this doesn't affect how the zombies react to our base. Day 65 begins with us making a crazy amount of bullet casings. As the sun arose on this day, myself and Fang went out to go and do some more exploring. This time we wanted to go further in the desert than we ever have before we went so far that we had to pick up these bikes just so we could cross the water i had heard that there's a big town down here that i wanted to go and check out uh-huh here's the big ass city Yes, and this desert city has a place that we've been looking for. The Cracker Book HQ. 65 days into this adventure and we still need to learn a few things. I want to be able to craft some better weapons, some better armor and all that. Because right now we're kind of limited in what we can craft. And this place being called the Cracker Book HQ, you'd think there'd be a crazy amount of books here. Like after all, there's obviously a crazy amount of zombies. Once in, we started looting and yes, there were a crazy amount of books. But you want to know what else there was a crazy amount of? Zombies. Yeah, well, well, it kind of makes sense. This place is quite large. Holy crap. There's so many. There's so freaking many. I brought so much ammo and I don't think it's enough. Oh, there's an day lad. Eshay's bar. There was a crazy amount of these biker zombies. Holy crap. Three bikers, three bikers, really. Five bikers. Fucking sons of anarchy in this bitch. What really surprises me is why is there so many bikers in a place full of books? Like is literature really their thing? Like, is there something we don't know about the stereotype of a biker? Oh, and down here, we also found the juice. I just had to figure a way into this place. I guess just using my auger to break in was the key. Except, uh, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to just check your surroundings. Oh, this is going to take a while. This is one of the biggest locked chests I've ever seen. And the loot was pretty decent for once. So we found the juicy loot in the bottom of the basement. And this building is actually quite tall. It's at least like 10 stories high. And we may have got some pretty decent loot from downstairs, but I'm expecting there to be a lot more books to be found. But there were a crazy amount of obstacles that we had to try and get through and a whole bunch of businessmen zombies. See, like this kind of makes sense. Businessmen in a big corporate building, I get it. Bikers? in a corporate building full of books? I, I don't get it. But these businessmen zombies were coming out of nowhere and fast. 
This thing right here reminds me of a carnival sideshow. One by one, you guys go down. Oh, we got a Magnum. Nice. That gun that we just found is going to come in handy later. We made it all the way to the roof, expecting to find some really juicy, juicy loot. Instead, we found ourselves in quite a bit of trouble. Holy sh**. This is a little bit crazier than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. Bro, I almost died there. Oh, lucky then. This might actually kill me. Nah, I'm, I gotta run though. Yes, that just goes to show how quickly you can get overwhelmed in this game. And once I was somewhat safe, I went to go and help Fang out. Where you at? Where you at? I'm downstairs. Sure. Oh my god, man. That got hectic as fuck. Now, it turns out the juicy loot was just in the basement and there really wasn't much else here. Fang decided to go back to his bikes by going back into the building, which I thought was kind of crazy. Instead, I just kind of maneuvered my way down the side of the building. Yeah, call me Spider-Man, bitches. The plan was to wait down here until Fang got down here so we could ride off in the sunset together. Ah, uh, but there was a crazy amount of zombies here and uh, it was getting late. So see you later, Fang. Day 66 and we'd been away from our base for so long that we now have a whole bunch of ammo. We had scored this auto turret bundle from one of the drops earlier. Once I opened it up, we got two SMG auto turrets. I placed one of them down right here next to our entry of our doorway. This will be a great addition to our base defense. Also, after we got back, Fang had to go. That's okay though, because a whole bunch of dogs came in instead. So I blew their brains out and then I chopped them up for their meat. Mmm, delicious dog. There was a whole pack of these guys and we got a bunch of meat from them. Again, I'm home alone and by myself in the game. So I figured now's probably a good time to start some renovations on the base. And I should probably consider plugging this hole properly from now on. Next, I added a steel door that led on out to our little farm area. Remember, we got to keep this loot room nice and secure or we might lose everything. Speaking of which, next we got the cement mixer working so we can make enough of this concrete mix so I could go crazy upgrading a lot of our base. We really need to consider this because these zombies are starting to get a lot more harder and a lot stronger. Renovating the base is important, but sometimes it gets a little bit boring. And there's nothing more fun than heading out, looting some places, and uh, killing zombies. And yes, the zombies are a little bit harder and scarier and tougher and all that kind of stuff. But I saw a thing online where this guy uses different strategy while he was solo. The guy would go up to a door, attract a bunch of the zombies, and place these hatches down to block the zombies from being able to get to him. I thought to myself, that's really damn smart. Well, until I realized that my gun's pretty strong, so I, I, it didn't really work for me. And I'm incredibly impatient. I could see this being a more effective strategy in the early game, like if you're only using melee weapons. But now we have a level 5 AK-47, I think we're going to be fine. Ooh, don't need that. Oh, these are good. This is good juicy loot. Don't you just hate them times when you're just minding your own business, mining away, collecting some resources in a nice, cozy, chilled out fashion, and a whole ass horde of zombies just come in at once? Like, dude, these guys are hella needy. What do you need? My brains or something? Oh, and there's a freaking lion. Screw you, Simba. Look, all in all, today was just one of those chilled out days where we're just looting and doing pretty average normal things in seven days to die. We're at the stage of the game that basically every resource will be useful to us, especially metal. I don't think you can ever really get enough metal in this game. Like it's literally used in basically everything, especially upgrading your base to steel. Like you need a crazy amount of it. I would have stuck around, but then I started hearing scary noises. Oh, I'm out of here, son. Nope. It's so different when I'm by myself. Oh, nitrate. <laughs> okay, we'll stick around for this. Yes, you might have already noticed this, but uh, I'm a sucker for nitrate. And coal as well, because yeah, obviously gunpowder, more ammo is good. Killed this zombie as well. Now we're level 62. Yeah, slight update on what level we are. We've been grinding, you know, as you do. Dude, I'm freaking mining here. Oh, you're going to die in my hole? Gross. Excuse me, just need to drill your bum hole. Seriously though, the amount of metal that you need in this game is absolutely ridiculous. I do have boosted gathering rates, but is this even enough? Who knows? Day 68, we continued doing a few little renovations on our base, upgrading a lot of this concrete in particular. And then I created a little rule for myself. I wanted to make sure all the workbenches were at least doing something so that while I'm away from the base, there's always something happening back here that's always productive and, you know, working towards progress. Because yes, now we're leaving the base and going out to explore. There's still so much of this map that we haven't really checked out. Like the Super Shamway. Big ass shopping mall like this? Surely we'll have some juicy loot. Question though, do you think this would really be a safe place to come and loot first if a zombie apocalypse actually happened? Personally, I don't think so. And this is why. Oh my God, there's a freaking radiated white walker dude. Oh my God, get out. Ah, oh, thank you Jesus for the AK-47. There was a whole bunch of loot here, but none of it was any good. 
Oh my lord, there's a big ass freaking hole in the ground. What the hell is a big ass hole doing in the ground there? Anyways, I continued exploring because surely there's going to be some juicy loot here. It's just sometimes these places can be kind of a maze. We somehow ended up in a pharmacy that also had very bad loot. Like nothing. We didn't need anything here. Oh, and that hole in the ground? Yeah, it was full of burned zombies. They don't seem to like bullets in the head though. Made our way to these fridges and noticed that there was something behind them. How do we get behind them? Well, that's simple. We let the zombies break through. And then we kill those zombies so we can see what's behind there. And this is where we found the juicy, juicy loot. I closed the door to keep myself safe whilst we looted up all of these boxes. And especially since we're going to have to break into this box and make a lot of noise. Was worth it though. We got a bunch of good ammo. Side note, there's also some boxes on the roof here as well. And a clumsy ass little zombie kid. <laughs> I can't believe that kid just fell over. Stupid. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> okay. Hmm, not so stupid. It's now day funny number. And apparently there's an interesting POI out in this direction that I've marked. I just have to somehow get there safely, which could be fine if I was familiar with this map. Except in moments like this, I'm really not. Oh my God. Shit. Oh, oh. How the hell did we survive that? Thank you, zombie Jesus. We had somehow got ourselves in a rather sticky situation. And honestly, I have no idea how to get out of here. But this place was full of surprises. What the frick is this? Oh. It looks like someone's base. Please excuse me, zombie. Just uh, taking a quick look. Indeed, this was a strange little place, but doesn't seem like it gives us any answers on how to get out of here. So I guess we just got to move on and see if we can figure that out. Ooh, steps that go up. Pick up my bike. Let's see if we can figure this out. Had no way to get up to these stairs. That's okay. We can just Minecraft our way up. Didn't seem like there was any other ways to be able to get out of this little canyon that we're stuck in. So we just explored through this mine shaft, hoping that there was a way up. There was a lot of construction zombies down here and a little bit of loot. It was kind of interesting to see some resource nodes and things down here as well, as if they were part of the mine. Pretty immersive if you ask me. But really, we just want to find our way out of here. There were rooms with a little bit of loot in here, but again, I don't want to be here. I just need to get out of here and back on track to where I was actually trying to head to. Found this kind of elevator shaft that went all the way up. So we just Minecraft our way all the way up. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get up there and you're in my way. Thank you for dying. After all of that, we found our exit point, except it, it, it wasn't up the top and there were zombies raining on our head. Excuse me, lady. <laughs> Did that one just fall down the freaking... <laughs> oh, okay. No, you're not dead. Excuse me. Trying to get out of here safely. Now, I'll give you two guesses on how you think we got out of this mess. If you guessed Minecraft, you'll be right. Well, Minecraft mixed with a little bit of digging with our shovels and auger and some Grand Canyon parkour. We finally got out of that mess and could continue on trying to get to the marker we made on the map. Except we had to make it over the other end of the canyon. Luckily, if you travel far enough down it, you can find your way around instead of having to try and build your way over. We then made it to the destination and uh, what we were looking for wasn't here. Apparently, there was supposed to be like a military POI here or something, but there just wasn't. Do I need this oil right now no but i was frustrated and i didn't want to leave here empty-handed i mean we just spent that whole day getting lost in a canyon for me to leave with nothing no way i'm making sure i'm leaving with something it was getting late i was hella frustrated so i just started heading on home but on the way home we found the u.s army post kind of what we're looking for with the marker on the map except it was kind of late and uh yeah nope 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 we'll come back another time hey Oh, shit. See ya. Remember, I'm alone. And when I'm alone in this game, uh, I'm quite the pussy. Early morning of day 70. And yes, it's a horde night tonight. And we got a bunch of work to do before we're prepared for tonight. Firstly, I'm going to start crafting up some bullet tips. Then continue crafting some of this ammo. Check to see what ammo we have in stock. And make sure the exterior of our base is protected. For example, I'm concerned that this little runway here that I built on the side might lead the zombies to be able to jump over to it. Oh, and those plants that we planted earlier, they're all grown up now. So I went ahead and harvested it all up. And of course, replanted some more things too. Minding my own business, I heard a zombie come up to our base. I remembered we got this magnum earlier from the Cracker Book HQ, and we have a crazy amount of the ammo that's required for the magnums, which gave us the perfect excuse to go out and try this magnum out. I must say, this thing's pretty damn powerful for only being a level 2 gun. Yeah, take that in the butt, lady. Gross, forget that I said that. 
Anyways, I made a few other adjustments to our base. Since I'm going to have to do this Horde Knight solo, I wanted to make sure I had all the right traps in place to give us the best chance against this Horde Knight. Sometimes I forget to fill up this hole with spikes. I should probably use iron spikes, but I had a bunch of wood ones and the iron ones take too long to make. These pillars here, I plan on placing some blade traps on. Problem is, I don't have any blade traps currently. They're crafting up and they take kind of a long time. And I think ammunition is more important, so we're going to focus on getting ammunition cranking right now. Also, I placed these trap doors down right here as a little bit more extra prevention from stopping zombies to jump over there it's almost time for the first solo horde night we placed in all the remaining spikes just around the steps here did our final checks and got ourselves to safety here we go time for the horde night baby oh crap i forgot to turn the traps on go 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 oh yep got that one here they come try and weaken the crowd oh where are you guys coming from oh that electric fence is great take that suckers with our traps there, this was turning out to be quite simple. I got the magnum out when needed because it worked quite well when there's a small amount of zombies here. But if a larger amount grouped up, then our AK-47 was what we used. Honestly, for the longest time, this was quite effective. We definitely need to consider doing something about these birds though. They're not bad or dangerous, they're just more of a pest than anything. For the most part, this the Horde night was quite simple and not very dangerous at all. Sorry to disappoint, but yeah, this night was kind of a boring one. We survived it quite easily. Sorry, lady, but uh, did you hear that noise? The Horde night's over. You can leave now. Oh, what the hell? Just got spat on? 